nice to be here again. Here comes a new beautiful day. So happy to be here. So today we're going to talk about business growth. How to grow your business successful. How can you, so far with what you've done, how can you sustain your business growth? Now, for you to sustain your business growth, you have to look at those who are working with you, who are working with you, I mean. It's best to be a very, to have a very good team, those who are working for you in the business. So, which means, know the kind of people that are working for you. Let it be those who are experienced in their different fields. I mean, those who are experienced in whatever they are doing in your business. Yes, let it not just be a novice. Yes, so to do that, you also have to be a good leader, a good team leader. Cooperate with them and make sure everybody does his or her own parts and the work goes on. Then another thing to help your business to grow is sound decision making make a very good decision when it comes to how to satisfy your customers how to meet up to the demands the needs of your customers and for you to make a very good decision you know you have to make sure you 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 are equipped you also have to make sure you know what's going on in the market most especially what your competitors are doing, which you are not doing. So you decide on what to do in order to be at the top of the um, ladder so that you will be ahead of your competitors. Now, do not be afraid to grow. For you to grow, which means there's going to be a change. Change is going to occur. So do not be afraid to to experience that change yes do not be afraid at all so make sure you are ready to accept the changes in your business this will really help your business to grow well now the next one is keep advertising to more people advertise 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 make use of different ways of advertising it could be direct adverts it could be indirect adverts. Direct adverts has to do with a face-to-face -face advert. While indirect advert has to do with more of an online advert. Or like flyers, use of flyers. Making flyers for your business. This will help and make people know more about your business. Advertise as much as possible. Yes, it could be even on your social media channels, your social media handles, your WhatsApp, your Facebook, your Pinterest, your Instagram, your Twitter. Even you can open a YouTube channel, yes, to talk about what you do, your services. Then, um, also, TikTok is also there. So you can use this medium to advertise, even Instagram. Um, telegram so you can use this medium to advertise to people about your goods or what your services is all about in your business then now remain relevant remain what relevant which means what do i mean by remain relevant that is um, produce what people need at that particular instance if you notice that your product people are not really um, you do not really have high demand for it find out why and find out what is trending so which means you should remain on top of what others want and need so that is be in line with the trends you can't just remain in one place just be in line with the trends now ask for feedbacks yes ask for feedbacks from your customers you are free to ask for feedbacks and if your customer tells you this is this do not argue with them accept it and try to see how you can change in order to improve in your business 
So make sure you ask, ask for feedbacks and respond to the feedbacks. Respond to it positively. Do you get? And the last one is invest in yourself. Invest in yourself means make sure you learn more things. Maybe about your products or your services. You could also invest in yourself on how to be a good team leader. You could invest in yourself in terms of, um, okay, I meant you could invest in yourself in terms of uh, making research of how to be a good team leader. You could invest in yourself in terms of going to business schools or paying a coach to coach you on that line of your business. Or to coach you on how to be successful in your business and so on so make sure whatever you're doing in your business is what is going to sustain the growth of your business so that's it i will stop here for today i started as usual i'm your optimistic driver uh, Rachel Edutera. i'm here to motivate you and make sure you work and make your business grow. so so far i talked about how to sustain your business growth i mentioned those working on you you have to find out um how well they are doing their things and be a good team leader you have to make a sound decision that will not affect your business negatively but affect it positively you also have to um, um be ready to changes going on you have to be ready to grow with your business and you also have to keep advertising then also you have to remain relevant by following going with the trends of the society then also ask for feedbacks and invest in yourself so we'll stop here for today i would like to remind you to please subscribe to my youtube channel click the like button if you have any question you can comment below or you can send me a mail to equitariarachel at gmail.com as you can see on your screen then also you can share to those who need this particular video and you are free to watch the video as much as you want to if you are going in line with your business and you are confused on anything there are different topics i've talked about on my youtube channel you are free to search for it and watch so see you later bye thank you